You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. What's the meaning of this? I bring you good news. And Big Daddy over there wants to see you. Go and tell your Big Daddy that I, Mirabel, don't want to see you. Hey, 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 shut, shut, shut up your mouth there. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Are you not happy that you're among the living? Eh? I mean, if you say this grand, if you have to collect your dead body, see, you respect yourself. Don't allow me to force you. Just come and see Big Daddy. Leave me alone now. If you lay your hands on me again, I'll make sure I lock you up. It's okay, it's okay. Smart when I just touch you, you don't, you don't, you don't do like say you want me at. You are not vest, you are my pet. You. Just come and see Big Daddy. And it's a privilege, it's an honor. Come and see Big Daddy. What if I refuse? What will you do? Eh? Hey! What can you do to wait, me? Wait, 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 wait. Now, wait till I know the like, now, be this. Wait till I go do you, you not go like her. Wait till I go just do you now, you not go sweet for your body at all. Even your family people, they go vest. So just come now, just follow me now. Je, je, je. Listen, let me warn you. You think I'm one of those girls that intimidate in this village and get away with it? If you try any nonsense with me, if you try anything with me, I will make sure I deal with you. Mm. I'm not fair. Olodo. So you don't know say you be one of, you day among those guests. Oh, yeah, follow me now. Follow me, follow me. You day among those guests, you know. Me come on, go see Big Daddy. Leave me alone, no. Come on, come on. Let me move this thing. You never be coming down. Calm down, my friend. Every time you're vibrating like this, you're not even my spec. I don't know why you are doing all these things. What went you get, man? Come down. Why are you harassing me? Will you shut up your mouth there? You know they locked me up again. They all lost the policeman number. Big Daddy, permit me to teach this girl a proper definition of harassment. Permission denied. You see this girl here? She's a friend. A friend of the house because she's friends with a bearer. And anybody who is close to a bearer as a friend, is a friend of the house. So allow her. What do you want from me? Get in the car. I'm not going anywhere with you. You don't need to flare up. I said it already. I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> I want to take you to a place where the atmosphere is controlled because there are some very specific questions I want to ask you. And I want you to feel the last to answer those questions. Get in the car. Every way. Ask whatever question you want to ask here. I'm not entering your car, let alone going anywhere with you. <laughs> Mirabe, the lioness of Enua Bomb, me. You know you took after your father when it comes to being bold. And I'm very proud of you. You know, when you are doing all this for all these young boys, they will be checking. But this is Ebu, you can't do anything to me. So get in the car, bold girl. <laughs> Please don't patronize me, sir. Ask your question, I'm listening. Ah. What is happening here, right? No problem. <laughs> Mirabel, the Mirabel. Looking so nice. Very simple. Yeah, like a... You want us to hold the meeting here, right? No problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything cool and calm. Yes! Come and sit down. I beg your pardon. I should come and sit on a mat with you along the road. As what? And what, please, as in? Big Daddy, permit me, my go masses. Eh, 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 calm down, calm down. Have you seen the reason you don't have any woman in your life? Everything is not by power, not by muscle. I'm going to get them more. Come on, come on, sit down. Come on, come on, sit down. Come on, come on, sit down. Come on, come on, sit 
don't touch me, don't touch me, don't, don't stay there, no, not there. I go okay, but stay there. Banana, I told you you are not even my spec. I don't know where, what you are afraid of. Sit down. Good. Yes. Aban, see, let me tell you the truth. In case you are looking for a wife, eh, do not look here. I'm telling you the truth. There are no wives here. That's not a very charitable thing for a young man that is from this land to say, eh, it's not. I beg to disagree. Obele, I have seen some very beautiful women. Oh yes, uh, very good ones too. It might also interest you to know that I have decided that this is where my wife will come from. Ha! Yeah, yo. Abba, you have made a very big mistake. Let me tell you something, eh? If you do exactly what you just said now, eh? You will end up with the leftovers. I know them. What are you talking about? Okay. You see that useless man that sells our land? That fool that sells all our lands? Eh? And his cabas? They have been sleeping with all the guests. They do it so openly and cheaply in a way that shows that those guests are very useless. I have evidence. I have the time and the dates. I have everything here. So I'm wondering why someone would want to punish their unborn children by making one of them their mother. Uh, Obele, you use very strong words. <laughs> Take it easy. This is your land. You're supposed to defend your land. Huh? But I know what I'm saying. I have evidence. I also know what I'm saying. I've seen some, some good women here. Come on. Huh? Mirabel, stop. Listen, don't worry. Alright? See, I'm going to warn him to stay away from you. Because I'm not afraid of him and his gang. You should be. That man is not nice. I'll try my best to avoid him and his gang. I don't want to involve you, Che. Oh, God. Mirabel. Are you seriously saying I should stay calm and do nothing while somebody threatens my girl? No, girl. No, will never happen. Won't let it happen. He did not threaten me. He just asked me about a berry and requested I should be giving him information about her. A berry? I hope you're not considering that. <sighs> Mirabel, I hope you're not considering that. Do I have a choice? Look, Uche, I know Eberu is my friend. And I should not betray her. But right now, I don't have a choice. Excuse me. I can't believe this. Mirabel. What do you mean? I'll... What did he give you? What did he promise you? What do you mean you don't have a choice? We all have choices and we make it. See, listen to me and listen very attentively. You will not work for that fool. I repeat, you will not work for that idiot. Period. I started with him talking tough. Then he touched me where it mattered most. And I decided to respect myself and give him what he wants. I don't know what to do right now. My boyfriend is insisting I should not give any information to him. With me, but he's threatening to deal with my boyfriend if I fail to give him what he wants. I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. I did not tell my boyfriend about the threat. You know how he behaves. He might take a drastic decision that might hurt him. I don't know what to do. I don't know.
Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Lapuan. How are you? I'm fine. I, I came to check if um, <clears throat> your your fluctuating voltage. I came to see if it's still fluctuating. I'll be very happy to change your neutral cable for you, free of charge. There won't be any need for that. Our light is perfect. It's obvious you know your job. Ah, coming from you, that means a lot. Uh, thank you so much for the compliment. It's the truth. How are you? I'm fine. I'm sorry now. I, I, I'm just checking. You know, I, I called yesterday. I, I called you like, what, nine times yesterday. You did not pick. Even before I slept off, I still tried one more time. Your phone was switched off. I was busy. <clears throat> Ebila, I like you. A lot. I like you so much. Please, give me a chance now. Please look at me. See, see the way I'm shaking around you. Just, just give me a chance. I prom, I promise to show you how much I fear. I, 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 I promise to show you love. Please. And I've told you time and time again, Akwan. I am not interested in whatever it is you want to show me. Please leave me alone. Please, 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 please. please, please. I came all the way now to see you, please. Ebele, look, I have never felt this way before. I'm telling you from my heart, I have never felt this way before. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. You have occupied my entire thought process. I cannot even go a day without wanting to hear from you or see you. I'm constantly thinking of you. Sometimes I can't even eat because you're not giving me attention. I know how uncomfortable this is for you, but I've also tried on my own part to see if I can stop feeling this way, but it's not working. I guess this is one of those feelings that you cannot get rid of, and that is how you also know that it is real. Please, please, I'm giving you my word today that if you just, just give me a chance, I promise to be your peace. I promise to, to be your strength. I, I promise to show you love like you have never experienced before. I'll make you happy. that you feel since you're older than me, you're also wiser. But let me tell you, it's not by age. Oh. It's how blessed you are. I am a gifted child and you're lucky to have me in your life. So, don't take this golden opportunity for granted. Chizara, why can't I drink water and drop the cup for you in this house? Sister, my problem with you is that you don't use your inner sense. Alban is a good guy. And he obviously likes you. What is wrong in giving him a chance? Are you listening to yourself? Are you listening to yourself? What do you know? Sister, I know a lot. My gifted sense is telling me that you should give Abman a chance. He is a good man. Use your brain for once and reason with me. She's around. You have common sense. Yes. Gifted one. Gifted sense. Yes. Why haven't you used it? Eh? Why haven't you used it to make us a millionaire family? It's only my matter you know how to use your gifted sense. Get out of this place before I slap you. You can never. Just I'll give him a chance now. So what are you going to do right now? Honestly, I'm confused. I don't know why Ebigwe has refused to 
hear me out, let alone helping me. I must do something about it. But don't you think it's ridiculous for you to ask someone you are going down with to help you get another person you want to go down with? Are you going to judge me now? Just calm down. Calm down. Let's think of what to do. The only thing I'm sure of right now is that I will never allow a bear take what belongs to me. Never. But you know you can actually do this on your own. As a woman, I mean, you can do this on your own without involving a big way. How like, will I do that? You have a power. A, a, as in a different power as a human. Like to do some kind of kukere things without involving that thought a big way. How? Now she finally acknowledges me, me as the most intelligent one. So let me tell you what. Oh, sh keep it to yourself. I don't need your suggestion anymore. This is my fight, and I will go about it my way. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't need my intelligence on this? See my friend the berry. Now leave the way. Leave the way. Madam Blessing, my sister Iberi has no use for you. My gifted sense has revealed to me that your presence in her life is toxic. So leave my sister alone. Shut up! Are you her mouthpiece? If Iberi does not want my friendship with her, she tell me herself, no you. Now leave the road. As a sister with a gifted sense, my sister don't need to tell me before I know. Do you know I can slap you now? Do you know? Leave the road. Leave the road. That will permanently give me a reason to buy you from this compound. Listen, blessing. You may convert all other compounds to your drama stage, but not this compound. Shut up. Chizaram, get out of my way. Chizaram, ma'am. Come on. Are you mad? Ow, I'll slap you now, you truth. What's going on here? Eberi. Eberi. It's obvious that you and your sister are getting up against me. Anyway, let me just deliver my message to you and leave this place at once. Let me see. Uh, uh, what's going on? Chizaram, what did you do? I am simply making use of my gifted sense to put things in order for my sister who obviously has refused to look beyond her nose. Um, listen, I am sorry. I do not know what Chizaram has told you, but I am very sorry. You are welcome to our house. Our house, you said? Yet you will not allow me to contribute my, my gifted sense in putting things in order. Chizaram, please, will you stop all this your gifted sense nonsense? In fact, leave. I will leave, oh, but God knows I've tried. But the children of the world will, will not listen because they don't have gifted eye to see. Chizaram! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Sit. I just gathered a big way sold another land yesterday. Ah, Your Majesty, that cannot be true. I met with a big way and I warned him to stop. Yes, in fact, I ordered him to stop. And he gave me his word. He couldn't have sold another land. And I am confirming to you that he lied to you. Listen, that young man is daring me. Trust me, I am going to crush him. 
I will. Your Majesty, please, let me handle this. You see, no matter what happens, Ebiwe is an asset to us in this kingdom. This kingdom of Abomini. What nonsense are you blabbing? What I'm saying is this, Your Majesty. If you make him go in for this, it will not be good for any of us. Please! Wait, are you saying that we should condone a criminal simply because we feel that he's an asset in this kingdom? Is that what you're saying? No, no, Your Majesty. But please, calm down. Please, Your Majesty. Ah. Your Majesty. Please. Let me handle this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Maybe we no, don't worry. Let me handle it. Please. I see. Yes. Please. Don't do anything yet. Please. I don't understand. What are you saying? Mm. Iberi. I'm not supposed to be telling you this now. But <laughs> what are friends for? Luke. A big way loves you. And he wants to marry you. In fact, he's ready to do anything in this world just to have you. He obviously doesn't know when to stop. He obviously has the money. In fact, everywhere has the money to marry any woman he wants. All the women in this village are praying for this golden opportunity. What exactly are you saying? Are you saying that I should fall for a character like Ebigwe? A fool that knows nothing but to extort and oppress his people? A fool that steals community land and sells to other community? All in the name of being a youth leader? Am I mad? And am I para? No now! See, Ebigwe wants me to help him to have you. But I'm here to do otherwise. I don't understand. Ebuigwe is like an unfortunate thunder. He strikes even his creator. In fact, he has no bearing. He can strike anytime, anywhere. And I wouldn't want such calamity to befall you, my friend. I'm confused. You're yeah, confused? Mm. Okay, this way. So you understand. Ebuigwe has been pressuring me to get you. In fact, he was asking if I know anything about you. I had to lie that I don't know anything about you. So he would stop pressuring me. Hey, Barry, let me advise you. Run for your life. Run for your life, oh. If you know you have nothing to do with Hey, Barry, run for your life. Mm. What exactly are you saying? I should run away from my town because of a character like Hey, Barry. What are you saying? Yes. If not for Ebigwe, run for your dear life because he can even kill you. He does not spare anybody. <laughs> and you know I'm saying the truth. Well, just in case he listens to you, tell him that he is a fool. Eh? I should do what? Eberi. <laughs> Eberi. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Ebigwe. Why does it appear as if you think I'm joking with you on this? Eh? I don't understand. No. Oh. The king is angry with you. Very, very angry that even after his warnings, you still went ahead and sold the other land. I'm gonna warn. He may decide to get you punished for this. You know what? Isha Gozier, go and tell the king to bring it on. What is wrong with this man? Can't he leave me alone? You see that king? He is the least of my worries right now. There is something else that is bothering me. And I will appreciate it if you can allow me to concentrate. Please. You are not in the good books of the king and you are not bothered. You are not worried at all. He is also not in my own good books. Please. Hold on. Uh, yes. Can I get an update? Yes, boss. Uh, your number one has refused to collect the gift from me. Give her the phone. Okay, boss. Ma, please. He wants to speak with you. Tell whoever it is that if he cannot show up here and show his face, he should forget about it. Hello, boss. 
she has also refused to collect the bag and the phone from me. You see what? The time has come for you to prove to me that indeed you have been working with the mafia and you know everything. Talk to that girl. Convince her to collect that gift. Tell her whatever you can invent that is sounding so sweet. Hmm? Don't come back here with those gifts. And don't come back with bad news. Ma, please, if you don't collect these bags from me, I will be in big trouble. Please save my life and help a brother. I beg you. And if you don't leave here right now, I will begin to scream until my neighbors come out. I will tell them you came here to steal from me. Tell that your boss, that if he cannot show his face here, he should forget about it. Some of us have not received any gift from any man since we were born. And some people are here rejecting gifts. The irony in this life is difficult to bring under control. Do you know you are very stupid? For always poking your nose in things that don't concern you. See, maybe you should just help yourself. Do what she just said or tell him to show himself. You don't understand. I said leave. Please. Neighbors! You see, <clears throat> for the records, I have done what I should do as your partner in crime. But if you choose, out of your own wish, to continue undermining the warnings from the king, hey, he may decide to descend on you. And when it happens, please do not blame me. Noted, sir. Huh. You have done your part, noted, sir. Okay. But I just want you to do me a favor. You see that king? Go and warn him, if you can. Let him mind his business. Let him live everywhere alone. If that man fails to leave me alone, I will make this kingdom ungovernable. In fact, I am going to do something that the whole place may actually go up in flame. Everybody will be affected, I'm telling you the truth. And if I am forced to the wall and I decide to do something, you may, you, I will not even remember that you're my friend. Don't work according. No. What do you intend to do? Give it to no. What can you? What will you do? Even what can you do? no. If you are sure it was Atma who sent that gift, why reject it? But why is he sending me gifts without showing his face? I told Obera to tell him to show his face. Have you considered the fact that he might be scared due to how you have been treating him? Well, that means he's not man enough to face his fears. Tell me, what will I be doing with such a coward? <laughs> babe, be coming down. <laughs> Your blow features boy rise like this. I beg, babe, leave me now. I never said I wanted to marry a womanizer or date one. Ah. Akman does not appear to me like a humanizer. Hey, so you are one of those people that he's still holding captive with his calm looks. And of course, he has a good job, he understands his job, so yes, he has a future. That's an edge. He will use that to catch all the women in this village. But you see me, Eberi, I will not be counted amongst them. I think you are not judging the right guy. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I don't have anything to do with you. Why are you here visiting me? Well, Ebe, I finally decided to show you myself. For you to understand that it has been me all this while. I have been the one sending all those wonderful things to you. And you have been the one rejecting all of them. This is a man who is prepared to go all out, right to the end of the world, just because of you. I am that man who has been admiring you, your secret admirer for all these years now. And let me tell you something. This is a man who can do anything at all to make you happy. Is that not very romantic? Wait, excuse me. You have been the one sending gifts to me? 
Is there any other person in this town who is qualified to send those, or who can actually afford those expensive things I've been sending to you? Great. Thank goodness I haven't opened any of the gifts. They are all still intact. I don't understand. Why should they still be intact? Those are designer things specifically made for you. Because I see you as the only qualified babe in the whole of this hour, Enu Abomene, who is qualified to be handling weird and expensive and designer things. And that's why they are provided for you. Sir, please, I do not understand what it is you're saying right now. I want you to leave. I will bring all your gifts to you intact. No wonder Blessing said what she said. But, wait. Blessing said something. What did she say? It's none of your business. Please leave. I will send your gifts across to you, you as soon as possible. You cannot be saying you should send things back to me because they cannot be sent back. They are yours. Designer things made in your name. You should be asking for more, actually. And let me tell you something. If you ask for more, more will be provided. You don't understand that? Father, keep on our day. When you're tired, you can leave. Hey, ben. Hey, ben. Hey, ben. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Aban, eh? Does it ever occur to you that many of these people who claim they love you do not love you? Oh, Billy, what are you talking about? Nobody has claimed to love me yet. As a matter of fact, I have been the one looking for love, but I have not even managed to find one. Aban, I've told you. <laughs> you cannot find love here. You cannot find love here. You see these women? They don't know the meaning of love. Ah, uh, Obele, you know I would always disagree with you when it comes to that because I know that you're not in good terms with the women of your land. So you will always talk down on them at every given opportunity and it's not good. Is that what you think? That's what it is. That I'm talking down on them? <laughs> but it is what it is now, uh, Obele. As a matter of fact, I'd advise that you begin to develop interest in one of them because your future lies with them here. Aban, are you insulting me or what? How can you say that my future lies with women? Calm down. 